Hey, you guys. So I got a special request to do some guidance for the sign of Gemini for the month of October. So I think I'm going to start with Gemini and we're going to do all 12 zodiacs. Okay. So let's ask spirit and God for some guidance for Gemini. Dear God, dear spirit, dear universe, dear ancestors, please give me some guidance for the sign of Gemini in the month of October. Please give us honesty, truth to help us be prosperous and move forward abundantly. Thank you so much for all the messages in the past, present, and future. Please give us some guidance in the month of October for the sign of Gemini. Thank you so much for all the messages in the past, present, and future. All right. Yeah, I know I always do my little messy shuffle. Huh. I always let's see what's popping. Three cards. Past. Present. Future. Let's pull two cards for love. Give me some guidance for the sign of Gemini. Oh, we got the two cards. Hold on. Whoa. Past life relationship and deception. Mm. Yeah, we definitely want to be clarifying some stuff up in here because I am nosy. I miss. That's I am. Okay? So the overall energy in the middle is the lovers. Okay, lovers, but first we want to take a little dip into the past before we get into the presence, okay? We want to figure out what was going on in this past life relationship, what type of deception, because something was going on here for sure. We're going to find out. Okay, so since we're doing past, present, and future today, we're going to start with this right here. In the past... For Gemini, we got the Three of Wands. Um, this is someone making a decision to move forward in life. You know, someone making a choice, looking at the horizons, trying to figure out if the grass is greener on the other side. You know, leaving something in the past behind. They're leaving something behind. You know, they got their hand, hold steady on this one. And, you know, they leaving some things behind in the past. And they looking ahead at the future. And they feel comfortable and ready to spread their wings. They feel like there's going to be better fortune over there on that other side. And um, in the future here, <laughs> this is the lovers. So someone out there is in love. They done found their soulmate. They done got their divine masculine and their divine feminine. This is, you know, a union being blessed by the heavens right here. You know? Two people with their, you know, values align and they're coming together in a blessed union, you know. This is a meaningful relationship. This is mutual love here. Clear values, you know, as you stand before God, honestly, you know. These two people went before the higher fit and they got their spiritual guidance and they coming together as the lovers. And they got, you know, the heavens watching down over them. You know, so maybe it was somebody. And it's, this is also, you know, a car to travel. So this could also mean it was someone who traveled far and wide to come to connect with this love. You know, they made a decision to leave something alone in the past and to make this connection here because they knew it was something better. 
They knew it was something better on the other side. And it might have been this King of Wands right here. You know, because the King of Wands, <laughs> he's a he's a quite um interesting character. Because the King of Wands, he's a very as adventurous, assertive, he's very sporty, he's very admiral. Um, he's a protector, he's creative. I mean, he is sexy. This king, he really takes care of his body. I mean, he is like physically fit. I mean, I think I showed y'all the King of Wands card in the tarot deck of sexual magic. I mean, yeah, he looks good, honey. And um, you know, he's a fighter. He he, he dares to be different too, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is about him in relationships, like, you you got to stick to his rules now. You know, he's not a king of showing too many emotions. He's not like the king of cups. You know, he's not going, you know, finesse you down like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he, the only thing you got to do is look at him. You know, he's stern. He's bold. He's a go-getter. I mean, he is... I mean, why wouldn't you <laughs> want that king? You know what I'm saying? But that king, like I said, he's not super emotional. So don't expect that from him. And he's another he another thing about him, he likes his space. He likes his space. So if you're going to be with this king, you need to understand these certain things about him and not try to change him and try to adapt to his world. He really likes a, a, a woman that is just like him actually, that um, has her own life. And, you know, they can bring something to the table that has something to talk about because he has her life and she has her life. You know what I'm saying? He don't want nobody that's real clingy, that's all up under him, that don't have her own business, her own goals and stuff. He needs a go-getter. You know what I'm saying? Someone inspiring, powerful, strong and creative and assertive, just like him. He is very warm, you know, and charming and stuff too. But he's a very masculine and mature, fiery king. You know? So, he doesn't mind being submissive in his relationship at all. But, you know, like I said, you have to accept him for the way he is. And he does not do well with feeling like he's being restricted. You know? But once this king finds the right mate he's quite happy to be committed and faithful and loyal uh, yeah especially if it's someone that he really clicks with and one thing about this king you know he might play but he don't make serious investments in anything any relationship any acquisition have it be business or you know whatever properties or whatever he doesn't acquire or put his investment in anything that is not going to be long standing and that's going to have value. Trusted, tried, and, and true. He's not going to put no time and no effort in something that's not going anywhere. So he will travel far for the right, for the right mate. You know, this is like I said, this is a car to travel. You know? So I don't know if it's this king that came through. And that travel or if it's somebody that decided to leave a relationship in the past for this kid. Maybe someone, you know, really was looking and said, you know what, I'm not happy here. You started looking over the horizons and said, you know what, I know that there has to be something better for me. And you ended up finding the king. You ended up finding the king. And in regards to... Love is saying that this 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 person is someone that you've known before. This is a past life relationship. But it's there's some deception going on in here somewhere. There's somebody wearing false masks in this relationship. So we need to figure out what is going on because clearly there's someone traveling back to the past to someone that they've known before. And they feel like this person is their soulmate.
Let's get some clarification going on here. I, think I definitely want to clarify this Three of Wands. Thank you so much for all the messages in the past, present, and future. Please clarify the Three of Wands for Gemini for October. Thank you so much. Please clarify. What were they traveling to? What was the what was going on uh, over that horizons? Mm -mm. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. So it's saying uh huh, it was an emperor. Apparently he had a dick in the hand. <laughs> was an emperor. And um they're traveling away from this third party uh relationship. They're trying to walk away from this heartbreak here. Okay? So that's what this person So this is what uh that person was trying to leave from the past. This emperor. This person is turning their back on this situation from the past with this emperor. This older man. The emperor is an older man. Um and you know, he is very set in his ways too. Uh the emperor is uh, very dominating and can be very controlling sometimes. Um, they are protector and a provider and all of that stuff like that. But, you know, <laughs> they, uh, how do I say it nicely? Like, they just lack the foreplay. Like, yeah, there may be sex and intimacy in the relationship, but it really does lack the intimacy and passion. It's just done. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever been at home and, like, your man will come walk through the door and he'll just, like, rip your panties down and throw you over the thing and just, you know. It was, like, a situation that kind of lacked the sexual passion, but the person was out there cheating, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a person was out there cheating. And this is, um, you know, typically, and, and like I said, an emperor sitting on his throne with his dick in his hand. I didn't even pay attention to that shit the last time I pulled this damn card out. I just seen the damn uh, man ain't have a whole bunch of bitches in the background and shit. But, I mean, rightfully so, he is the emperor. And look at him. You can see why he would be desired by others. I mean, clearly. I mean, look at him. But, I mean, he just don't understand how someone can lack sexual passion in a relationship that they've been committed in. Because, like I said, the emperor, you know, the emperor is an older man. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of times, some older men, they have already sold their world oats and they know what they want. But then there are a lot of older men that are just set in their fucking ways, even at old at in old at old age they're still running around with their dick in their hands you see what i'm saying so that's what the fuck i'm getting from this situation so i mean at least we know what the person was trying to get away from um please clarify for me the king of wands what is this king of wands who is this king of wands is this a new energy because you know you're looking over the horizons Coming in the new love, so it must be this King of Wands. Tell me something about this King of Wands. Tell me something about this King of Wands. What's going on with this King of Wands, please? Clarify the King of Wands for me. The strength in reverse. Hmm. in the moon what is going on okay okay all right all right man now that these cards that came out i feel like because this is a car of someone traveling and moving forward and that was being clarified by the emperor and the three of swords, so that's the one trying to come out of heartbreak and, and, and hurt caused by this emperor. Um, and this is saying that this is a past life relationship and deception. So what I'm getting here is 
that someone that's in this kind of dominant king of wands energy, it doesn't necessarily have to be a man. Um, it could just be like a very strong, independent, fiery person. This person is um, having lack of strength right now. They're having lack of strength. I feel like this person may be a little bit intrigued with a new love interest here. And it might be a re a love reignited from the past because it says it's someone that you've known before. But it's a restart of something. So, you know what I'm saying? This would be a whole new, new, new love situation. And this person views this love union as a soulmate situation. And they're leaving something in the past. And they're going towards this new love. But there's a lack of strength here in this situation. And then you got the moon in reverse here. I feel like this card is trying to warn you to have safe travels here. You know? And if this person is kind of scared and feeling a little hesitant on setting out on this journey. The reason why I'm saying to be cautious of making this travel towards this new situation right here is because I'm looking at the other cards around it. I'm looking at the other cards around it because it might be saying you, you might be going back to a past life relationship. It might be somebody that hurt you before. I'm hoping not. I'm really hoping not. I'm hoping not. Because whoever this person was, was controlling. They were very controlling. And they were de very demanding. And they really didn't bring a lot of passion into the relationship. The relationship was there and it was stable. But there was still some fuckery and foolery and deception going on in the background. That's why you left the situation heartbroken. You I'm just praying to God that... No one is making a decision to go back to that because you already in your head. You're in your head right now. And you're overwhelmed by either just you imagining the possibilities of having problems and that shit is overwhelming you. And you're not really feeling confident because you're not really having that strength to really rush through like you really should. You know what I'm saying? And you're looking. Look at how. This person is looking at this situation. You see what I'm saying? They're looking at it, but it's not like they're saying, I got the full strength and I'm rushing through with the chariot or some shit like that. Like, nah, this is the strength in reverse. Like, you're not feeling confident about this shit. You're not feeling confident about it at all. You know? But this, it could also tell you, you know, that you maybe need to let go of some shit from the past because maybe it's telling you to, um, you know, you need to find strength to move on because the future lies somewhere else. Like you can't go back to the past anymore. That could be very much what this is. I'm hoping that that is what this is trying to say because this person already broke your heart and you already left it. You know what I'm saying? You already left that situation. You already left it. So let's clarify this. Please clarify this past um, life relationship card. Someone that they known before. Who is this person? Because we already know the person that was in the past was the emperor. Person in the past was the emperor. You know what? Yeah. A person in the past was the emperor. And you're trying to walk towards this new love with the king of wands. But you're not really feeling... You're not having strength and in, in, in you you in your head about some shit. And you scared of the, you scared as a motherfucker though. You fear you 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 fearing to take action on this. Like you were feeling something so bad, like you projecting it in the projecting that in the future. So like if you really want a serious love, don't don't project no past bullshit into the future now because you you scared. What is it? Fucking five of fucking swords, bitch. What the? Come on now. You already know who that is. You know who that is. That is the master deceiver. That is the master deceiver. That is the 
thief. That is the thief. That is the con man. That is the con artist. Look at him trying to con her about her fucking panties. Okay? Hmm. Clarify the goddamn five of swords, please. Clarify the seven of wands. Yeah, because this person had too many goddamn... Oh, Lord Jesus. Seven of wands means challenges, rivalries, enemies, fighting, having to stand your ground. Like, come on. I mean, this is like having to hold your position and fight for your position gossip you know you under attack like for real having to fight off people like pe people trying the fuck out of you for your position having to fight for your position you understand because this con man this cheater this deceiver this asshole from the past put you through all of this bullshit okay put you through all this bullshit so you better not be trying to go back please tell me that you are not considering going back to someone in the fucking past i hope i'm taking this shit as and i'm gonna read this from a female now because i think i was reading it before in a male energy please forgive me if i'm confusing y'all but it gets more clear to you as you pull out clarification cards you understand what i'm saying because when it has no clarification, we just reading it at a surface basis. So I'm going to read this as if it was me. Okay. So in the past, okay, I was dealing with this emperor who was cheating on me. This older man who was cheating on me and I was heartbroken because this man was out here being deceitful. You understand? He was out here, had a whole bunch of competition, drama, fighting, gossiping and shit like that going on in the past. And I decided to leave that in behind because I felt like it was something better over the horizons. I felt like there was new love coming my way. I now know what was coming or what is coming my way is the King of Wands. However, I'm lacking the strength to really move forward in this union. Because I'm stuck in some shit that might have went on in the past, okay? And I need to let that go. I need to let that go. Because guess what? Love don't live here anymore in regards to this shit that went on in the past. You know, some secrets had been revealed, some secrets had came out, and it got me fucked up. And right now, I'm lacking the strength to move forward or anything because I'm just scared right now because of everything that I went through in the past. Because this is a lot of bullshit. Okay? That's a lot of motherfucking bullshit. And you got to understand, you can't go back to the past no more. You have to find strength to move forward. You have to find strength to move forward. You know? I, that's what I'm taking this car as. You needing to find strength to move forward. Because the future lies somewhere else. Look, the future is somewhere else. You know, that's why you were looking over the horizons. That's why you're walking towards the lovers. The future is somewhere else. The future is here with this king of wands. Okay? Because these are two different cards. Okay? You got the emperor, which is an older man. And you got the king of wands. These are two different male energies here. Two totally different people. Kind of the same, but two totally different people. You feel me? So I want to clarify. Please clarify the moon for me. Please give me some clarification on the moon. Thank you so much for all your messages. Please clarify the moon. Please clarify the moon. And then we're going to get down to this deception. And I need probably like two more cards of just guidance how to move forward please clarify the moon the hierophant in reverse so what i'm taking from this is is look you need to you need to tap into your own spiritual guidance okay 
You need to figure out what you need to do for yourself. It's nothing that nobody can do to help you. It's nothing that no church can do to help you. It's nothing that anybody can tell you that is going to help you find that real inner strength. Okay? To be 100 for this union. Okay? You don't need no guidance from the Hierophant. You need guidance from yourself. You know what you've been through. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to do to get yourself together because this man is waiting on you. And the spirit is waiting. You definitely feel like you are being blocked from the bullshit that happened in the past, you know, with this emperor that you were walking away from. Or you're making the decision to walk away from, you know. And that could be the whole thing as well. You walking in fear for real. And you're not finding the strength because maybe you might still be in this situation here. You might still be in this situation right here. I'm getting that. And you're making the decision to walk away. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, hold on. We ain't going to do too much now. Hold on now. Let's um clarify this deception card. Yep, that's what I'm getting. You in this situation with this emperor and you you making a decision to walk away to better endeavors, to greener pastures, okay? In this situation with this emperor, you know, it was a past life relationship. This is someone that you, you've you been dealing with for a while, you know what I'm saying? And it's time to let go because guess what? This person is treacherous, okay? This person is deceitful and treacherous and nasty, and had you in a whole bunch of fucking arguing, fighting, fucking conflict, and drama. This past life relationship, this motherfucker over here that you're trying to walk away from, that will be a past life relationship once you walk the fuck away from it, okay? Mm-mm. Clarify this deception. I'm sorry. Let me just, mm-mm. What is this? The Queen of Swords. In reverse. Oh, honey, you need to flip that damn car <laughs> around. Around. The queen is... Yeah, she ain't nobody to goddamn play with. But you know what? This is just basically telling me that due to this deception, baby, that you just feeling like cold, bitter, insensitive. You just nasty, cruel. You're vengeful. You're spiteful. I mean... You're just unforgiving, dishonest. I mean, you don't basically damn near turn into the, the person that you running from. I mean, you're self-critical. I mean, just kind of just like emotionally damaged. And you got to understand that swords are mental cards. You understand? So this is someone that is just like a little bit mentally damaged right now due to this deception here okay and or if we read this the and or if we read this shit the other way around <laughs> if we read this shit the other way around if this is a male that i'm reading for this is the bitch that was being deceptive to you. Because this bitch, I'm trying to tell you, let me tell you about this. This bitch, she's a nasty little lying, cheating ass, deceitful, dishonest little bitch. She plays mind games. Um, She is like all about her heart and not her head. You understand what I'm saying? Like, she, uh, she desires freedom in space and just to be out you know what i'm saying and she's a manipulative like, like little bitter bitch i mean i'm keeping it 100 i'm keeping it 100 so if you're the king of wands and you were trying to go forth as you were trying to get away from this past life relationship with this deceptive bitch okay and you were having a boss up okay you were having to boss the fuck up and step up and be an emperor because your heart was broken. 
And you're dealing with all this damn heartbreak. So you had to step into your power and be an emperor for real and decide to walk the fuck away and to go towards something better in your future because you know that there's love coming, okay? You know that there's love coming, but, you know, right now, you in your king of wands energy, but you're still having to find that inner strength because you dealing with some shit from the past is putting fears in you and you need to find some self guidance. Okay. Because this shit with this bitch in the past has fucked you up. No way how you cut it. The only card that matters right here are the major arcanas. What are the major arcanas in this deck? The lover card. And that's the center energy. So love is coming to you regardless, okay? But at the end of the day, I think the key thing that is really sticking out here for me is this moon card in reverse. Your destiny is not in the past. You need to release whatever it is from the past that is holding you and got you shook and scared to move forward. I know it was, look, this card in the, in the upright, this means secrets, that means it was something that was going to come out. So guess what? Maybe some shit is coming out now about this past life shit. It's starting to finally reveal your, itself. And it's fucking you up. You understand? And now you lacking the strength that you had. When you lacking the strength that you had when you first decided that you wanted to go on about your business. You understand? And you was feeling, look, you was in your emperor shit. You was in your emperor shit when you decided when you first wanted to leave. And go forth. And now these secrets coming out. Because this fucking nasty fucking bitch. This deceptive nasty fucking bitch. That was doing all of this shit in the past. Okay. Had you going through all of this battle. This fighting. Oh, nasty fucking bitch. All her secrets is coming out now. Everything that you thought was happening, was happening, you found out the truth. But guess what? They telling you, go in. You got your inner goddess. You know what to do. You know what to do because you a king. And guess what? We're going to clarify this um, Queen of Swords. Please clarify the Queen of Swords in this reading. Please clarify this deceptive queen of swords please clarify this deceptive queen of swords what is this the four wands in reverse oh, okay so I'm about to switch this back to the feminine energy I'm gonna read as if I was the feminine energy so the reason why you're acting like this bitch is because like I said you know, your heart was broken. This emperor broke your heart. And you felt like you had to move on. You had to make the choice to move on. Because you couldn't live in that energy no more. You could not live in this deceptive relationship anymore. With this past life person that had you battling. And that you realized was a fucking con artist. That was a lying, cheating, thieving Hurtful car artist. So that's why you became a bitch like that. And it's because you feel like you had to uproot yourself. From a situation in a man in a relationship that you thought that you loved. You felt neglected. You just felt like you didn't fit in anymore. Like you you in a relationship. You feel like you the third party in your own relationship. While this man out here cheating on you with all these other bitches. You know what I'm saying? You felt like you just didn't even fit into the situation no more. You felt incivility. Lack of support. You know, you had to leave your home. <laughs> it's just like you guys coming together in this union as the lovers to only find out a month later that you got to turn around and leave this nigga because he's a lying, pe cheating pieces of shit. And this motherfucker had a big ass deceptional mask on you. And you had no idea who the fuck you just married. Because you got to understand, like, this, this, the card in the upright, this is the marriage card. The four walls card, this is the marriage and celebration card. 
in the upright. You know what I'm saying? So this motherfucker fucked up your whole union. And now you like this. Same thing as for the male energy. You felt lack of stability and support. And you felt like you needed to uproot yourself from this situation with this deceptional little bitch here. You had enough. You had enough. It was time to go. What is this confirming up here? It was time to go. Right? So this card is confirming this right here. Okay? It was time to go. Why? Because of this from this past life relationship. Because in, in this card, this stuff right here is confirming this. And this is telling you why you had to go. This is telling you that you had to go. This is telling you why you had to go because you were heartbroken because of this emperor. And they're telling you that this, this is an old person. It's an older man. It's a past life relationship. This person was a liar, cheater, a deceiver, a con man, a crook. And it was a whole bunch of challenges in the situation. That there was deception. There was deception. The woman, either was a woman scorned and or she was the whore out here being deceptional. And it's confirmed again that the union was broken and someone was uprooted from the relationship. There's love coming over the horizons. Okay. There's a king in here somewhere. Have it been. There's a king in here somewhere. Either for the woman, that there's a king that is waiting for you or that you're a king. And that you know that there's love coming to you. You just got to release old energies. Okay. Don't be scared. Tap into your inner strength. Change this car around. Okay. We realize and we recognize that a lot of secrets came out, but you understand that love don't live here anymore. You have to move towards the future. You have to search within self. You don't need to go to church. You don't need to talk to your friends. You don't need nothing but inner guidance. Govern thine self. You know what to do because you are a king. And or you are headed towards a king. Okay? Okay? I'm going to pull one more card in love. One more card in love. All right? Please give... Oh, here we go. This shuffling. Now, come on now. Now, come on. All right? Give me one more card in love for guidance for Gemini. In October. Because they coming through. They walking towards that love regardless. They might be scared and they might went through a lot. But they walking towards that love. And God is telling you if you're still in this situation. With this goddamn emperor. That's out here cheating on you. This older man that's out here cheating on you and shit. They're trying to tell you that that relationship. You need to find the strength to leave that shit or, or you're making the decision or you're battling with the decision right now to leave it. Okay? Leave that shit alone. Okay? Make the effort. Great, le great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You better listen to the Lord today. I'm going to repeat this one more time. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve it. Deception, deception, deception. You are still in this relationship. Deception, deception, deception. Make the effort. True love is coming. Look, it's baby. It's right there. It's right there. And you know it's better. It, like, you know that the grass is greener. Because it can't. What the fuck can be worse than this? Like, honestly. Like, what the fuck? Make the effort. Go ahead and go. You want to go. You want to go. Go. Make the effort. Make the effort. Do not listen. Stop being scared. 
Stop being scared. This is telling you that you're being scared. Stop being scared. Stop. Hop on that motherfucking goddamn, uh, what is that? What God, that goddamn boy grab them goddamn, um, hooves or whatever the fuck that is and ride that bitch on onto the other side. You'll get there faster. Better than using your own feet. You better use the strength that you got. Don't let nobody make you feel weak. Fuck that. Whoever it is, fuck them. Whoever they want to, they got you fighting it, going through all this goddamn car. Look, both of the cars. Look at both of the cars. Whore. Whore. Deceptive, deceitful, cheating, lying, manipulative, con, fucking con. Con. This past life relationship, con. Okay? Con. So, make the effort. Have the strength. Okay? Love don't live there no more. Leave that shit in the past. Use your inner guidance. Make the effort. Okay? I love y'all. This has been y'all reading. This has been your reading for October. I hope y'all enjoyed that for Gemini. Um, this came as a special request from someone from Instagram. So, baby, I hope that this... Um, gave you some type of guidance um because at first i was just like man but it, you, let me tell you something spirit makes it all come together for you because this makes very much sense for me and that's why i try to read this for um as a man and as a female because like i said in the last reading men go through shit too Cause there's some man out there that got a deceptive little nasty ass fucking cheating ass nasty bitch. Nasty bitch. And guess what? You're leaving her. You're leaving her. Fuck that bitch. Anyway, y'all good.